we're back with William Byron for part two of his Around the Track interview. Well, tell me about the Cup Series. So what, what's this year been like? Because it yeah. is a big jump. I mean, to go yeah. from, from Xfinity to Cup, and, and I'm curious to know what that has been like for you. Yeah, it's been fun. I, I think there's been some challenges, but the more challenges that there's been, the more excitement it brings when you do have some success or you have a, a chance when you lead laps or something like that. So I look forward to that. Um, I think the more I've done it, the more I've started to work at it and, and really look towards the, the future. So um, I'm really enjoying it. I think it's a great opportunity and I'm really happy about it. Anything that surprised you so far th this year that, that you didn't expect to happen? Yeah, um, probably the, the flow of the weekend. I mean, it's very important to have a good Friday, qualify well, and then, and then kind of develop your race car on Saturdays. So uh, I'd say the flow of the whole weekend is very different than Xfinity when you just show up and you have two practices and you go race. So basically what you show up with is what you race. So big news recently, uh, your crew chief next year is going to yeah. change to a seven-time yeah. uh, winning championship crew chief, Chad Knauss. How excited are you about that? And, and how's the chemistry or, or you know, what do you guys know about one another right now? Yeah, I'm excited about it. Obviously, the stats speak for themselves. But I think the other thing is the, the connection we had when I first came to HMS, and that was three years ago when I first um, got involved in driving in the Xfinity car. Chad was the guy that every week almost asked me, hey, how'd the race go? How, what things did the track do for their notes? And so we built that connection. I was sitting on the pit box, on their pit box for a lot of races. And uh, I grew up a Jimmy Johnson fan, so I've heard him on the radio for countless races. And uh, that all those things kind of come into play. But I think when we hit it off um, a couple months ago, it just made sense. That must be pretty surreal. I mean, not long ago, you're yeah. going trick or treating to Jimmy Johnson's house. Yeah. Now his crew chief, Chad Knauss, is going to be your crew chief. <laughs> yeah, That's it's amazing. Weird. <laughs> it's weird, but I, you know, my dad and I were talking about that. How how many times I've had a headset on and and listened to him, and uh, so yeah, it just some things line up like that, and it's pretty cool. Curious now that you've been in the Cup Series and you're in the garage area every week and racing mm -hmm. against some of the best drivers in the world. Yeah. Who do you get? advice from I know you've got your teammates but yeah. uh, maybe even outside of that are there guys that you know I mean you drove for Kyle mm -hmm. Bush I'm just wondering do you ever go to any other drivers for advice in the garage yeah I, I was lucky to build a little bit of a relationship with uh, Kevin Harvick when I was driving in the uh, K&N series we I went up to Watkins Glen was able to ride home with him and, and hear his thoughts and he kind of just laid it out for me what here's what you need to do you need to get to the truck series, do Xfinity, go to the cup series, and this is the amount of time and things like that. So um, he kind of helped me understand that there, a lot of things were going to be happening in the next few years. And so I built that relationship. And then this year I've been able to sit down with him uh, one time and, and have a meeting and just talk about early on in the season what things I can do to, to make sure I'm uh, the best I can be. And thanks for joining us for another interview of Around the Track. And stay tuned for future episodes.